Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Nur Fadiha Akmar and I will begin with the introduction of applying the implementation of planning, organizing, leading, and controlling in the organization. The company of choice is Corporate Information Travel Sadiran Berhad or CRT which was established in 1985. This company places a significant focus on customer service, careful listening, and a 24-hour response time to client inquiries. As a result, they are capable of meeting the obstacles and completing the most complicated requirements of business incentive programs or event trips. Furthermore, they were the first and only travel management firm in Malaysia to be approved by CIRIM QAS in 2021. CIT has three missions which are to have a strong management team with the ability to think creatively, to have a highly efficient workforce dedicated to providing excellent service and to own a business that is the most efficient, successful and well-liked. The managing director of CIT is Mr. Tadius H.H. Fu. He is the top level management who manage the organization's overall goals and operating policies. As for the middle managers, there are Vice President of Human Resource, Vice President of Travel Consultant, and Vice President of Online Sales. Then, it continues with the first line managers and operational employees. With that being said, we would like to discuss the company's implementation of planning, organizing, leading, and controlling the organization. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatiha Binti Jamuddin and I'm going to present on planning for the topic that we have chosen, which is a corporate information travel company. Planning is a managerial role that includes identifying objectives and defining a course of action to achieve those objectives. Planning necessitates managers being aware of the environmental condition, confronting their business as well as forecasting future trends. Planners must set objectives which are declaration of what must be accomplished and when it must be accomplished. There are three steps in planning which are determining the organization mission and goals, formulating strategy and implementing strategy. To begin with, corporate information travel CIT success is aligned to the SMART theory which is a part of the planning theory. Each of the alphabet has its own meaning which are S is specific, M is measurable. A is attainable, R is relevant, and T is time-bound. According to CIT, the success of the company over the years has been made possible through the concert effort and hard work of their experienced, dynamic, and dedicated service team. Mission defined an enterprise basic role or task. The mission of CIT is to have a strong management team with innovative capabilities. Vision statement is an expression of what the company wants to be, what it wants to be, to be known for, or to be known as in the sense of management. It is the organization's long-term target and the vision of CIT is to provide excellent service to each and one of their customers. Organizing can be defined as a process that initiates the implementation of plans by clarifying jobs and working relationships and effectively deploying resources for the attention of identified and desired results or goals. Coordinating resources Firstly, Corporate Information Travel Agency located at Mid Valley City. Its location in the city center makes it easy to coordinate resources. As we all know, resources are not only money but also employees. Urban workplaces make it easier for employees to provide services and transportation for customers. When coordinating resources, the best place to start is to figure out what you will need for the project. The managing director will identify what customers want and the difficulties they face as well as consider all categories of customers. Framework of goals the corporate information travel agency has its own goal. Usually, small travel agency companies such as corporate information travel agencies use a wide span type of organizational chart. This is because it has a change of command that is not too long and the employee of this travel agency that are only 51 and 200 employees. So that is why it is more suitable for the type of white span to be used. Additionally, this type of flat organizational chart is great for the long term. Resource Allocation This travel agency places great emphasis on the value of teamwork, efficiency, passion, responsibility, and others. 
The managing director will give instruction to other employees such as sales executive, executive member, the marketing team, financial managers, and others. Then, the second layer of the hierarchy will give order to other employees under them. The managing director will organize employees for events or projects. For example, the insurance team will manage customers' travel insurance. What is most interesting is that this travel agency has virtual team building. It is very rare for a company to form a virtual team because not many people use and apply it. There are three types of virtual team building ideas. Firstly, virtual world hunt or managing race. Managing director will monitor and check on each division of the employees to ensure no problems arise and the work runs smoothly. Hi, my name is Najadi Devadoni and today I would like to talk about leadership in organization. Leadership means we create a vision of the future and then we create strategy for achieve the vision and we also discuss the vision so everyone understand and believes in it. Last but not least, uh, leadership is a process of directing and influencing group members for executing task related activities so to become a leader uh, they need to have a good uh, interpersonal skill uh, great behavior we need to have a characteristic of the leader uh, such as uh, self-confidence motivation and not only that uh, they are knowledgeable in particular uh, work field and not only that uh, they need to gain loyalty uh, from their followers or subordinate uh, to achieve goals or objective for the organization. Next, I would like to analyze travel agency company uh, which is Seed Travel or known as Red Information Travels Nguyen Berhad. As we can see, this company leadership values, you can see this a screenshot from the actual website of CIT. They show their own core values uh, like consistency, initiative, teamwork, passion, integrity, efficiency, and responsibility. And all of these core values. Control is monitoring something in an organization of performance and some desired outcome or goal by identifying a regulation that occur. Control consists of three steps which include the formation of performance standard, measuring actual performance against standard, and taking corrective action when necessary. Performance standards are usually expressed in financial terms such as revenue, cost, or profit, while performance measurement is an action taken after the formation of the standard, relying on the performance standard to measure in its term of hiring financial. This control measure helps in detecting future problems and issues and it is important to take decision immediately so that the company is able to recover from loss. Controlling also requires diligence and accountability for division from custom. In customary malpractice, there are two audits, namely budget and performance. Audit involves the examination and verification of record and supporting documents, where budget audit provides information on the organization with relevant method to meet the wants and needs of the organization, while performance audit is a way to determine did the report figure reflect actual performance, which include control and seen in terms of economic criteria, control and production, and operator process. This audit service delivery should comply with company policy in various activities. Within the control, there are four types of it. First is the pre-action control, where the focus is given to the detection of wanted material, financial or human resources that are input to transformation process. The second is steering control, which focuses on meeting standards to maintain quality. The third is the screening control, which is the place of work inspection that need to be passed before an activity is continued. The last one is post-control action. It gives the discovery of unwanted output and perform corrective action when the control is be completed. Talking about control management, corporate information travel companies also run it to ensure the company in its excellent performance. It is important for them to ensure that the various problems they experience can be overcome by meeting the requirements of the mission and vision set to have highly productive staff. It is committed to service excellence 
is the way the manager employs to his employees. It ensures and monitors every task performed by employees to run smoothly without any major problems. Employees here are also interrupted by top managers to respond to customers quickly if customers need the system. With this, the risk of scenario of business travel plan can be reduced. Providing an online inquiry counter can also help manager provide centrally about the performance of the employees against any problem they pose to customer unknowingly. This gives the corporate information travel and opportunity to find out the weaknesses and shortcomings of the company so that it can be maintained immediately. The staff here have been trained to be high prepared to ensure feedback to high respect customer at its proper threat. This company also provides after how assistance that is handling by its employees without involving a third call center. This helps customers that face difficulties or want to change travel booking when they need during non-office hours. This really help corporate information travel agency to be more prominent and successful in the future. During the awful time, the best way to prevent the virus from spreading was social distancing and people from all over the world had to spend their days at home. Lockdown was implemented to enforce people to stay in their own places and stop from doing normal daily activities. Simultaneously, physical business operations were forced to temporarily shut down because no face-to-face -face meetings were permitted. Most business operations changed 180 degrees to obey the precautions made by their government. Working had to be done at home via online to keep the business going and some failed to continue due to the immense change in a short period of time. At this point of time, e-commerce was known to help people by their necessities. Through e-commerce also, these businesses took their chances to promote and sell their products. This proves COVID-19 caused businesses to incorporate new techniques in planning, organizing, leading, and controlling to successfully operate like before. While the COVID-19 was spreading, business companies had to face several issues in operating and make changes to strive forward 2022. One of the impacts from COVID-19 pandemic for the traveling business is international demand reduction. This issue happens since the majority of the country is not open for tourism during COVID-19. In addition, the safety protocol for travelers in the new norm of pandemic has become a lot more complicated. In order for companies to overcome the implication of COVID-19, they need to create new marketing strategies. Since the whole world are adapting to the new norm after the COVID-19 pandemic, these traveling agencies need to figure out some of the safety precautions to convince people to start traveling again without worrying about the risk of COVID-19. And in addition, some of the new strategies include promotion in terms of prices and travel destination, could attract customer attention and increasing the demand to travel abroad with their trusted travel agency again. This, co this travel agency also has impact on COVID-19, which is employees had to be reduced and resources are dwindling. Encourage employees to work from home and create projects that do not involve large budget. Next impact of COVID-19 is economic term of income lead to drastic decline that can result in losses. Declining economy will result in paralyzed revenue stream in related companies. This is because in the tourism sector, conducting screen in health protocol limiting the entry and exit of tourist traveler. As a result, the lack of customer in tourism companies are slowly dropping the tourist such as seed. Therefore, seed companies should consider a support various assistance package and budget provided by the government in rehabilitation of tourism companies that face various challenges and meet the complex need of corporate executive programs. Where the government advice, tourism companies need to work together to increase resilience rate while this economic effect continuing. The result of merge between other tourism companies will support in various ways such as sharing of ideas, sharing of skill and experience to increasing efficiency in a company. Furthermore, the assistance of innovation, technology and expert experience is also able to revitalize companies' technology sharing from other large companies. It is benefit tourism and travel companies. Through the Banton Prihati National BPN, it helped SIT and other companies to cover merger salaries of tourism management workers who coordinate tourism activities. I would like to discuss about impact of COVID-19 to the organization and changes made to move forward in 2012. I believe that cases of COVID-19 among the workers in the sector is one of its impacts for every company. So this is because that with 19 cases are disruptive to them and not only that, they are less government lockdown to curb COVID-19 cases. 
pricing. And some of the companies they do have a primary cost reduction strategy. One of it was cutting worker salary. I would like to explain uh, about changes that moving forward to 2022 regarding to tourism sector. So they need to uh, follow government's regulation to curb COVID-19 uh, infection or uh, to stop the rising of COVID-19 cases.